Is that the video? Squish that cat. All you need to know is to squish that cat. And you just gently squish them. That's not comfortable for the cat or that safe, to be honest with you. You can just throw a towel on the cat again, squish her with a towel. What you can do is scoop her up, a little football carry, just like that. Butt in your hand and just squish her tight to your body. Just squish them really tight to your body. You don't have to worry about hurting a cat. You know, just squishing them against your bodies. And there we go. We just made friends with this wonderful little cat. Look at that face. Look at that face. Squishing is your best friend when you're dealing with a cat. You basically just lean forward, squish them nice and tight. And again, I'm just squishing them into myself. We always squish that cat. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. That was nice. What do you like? Don't bother me. I didn't call you Baldy Baldy. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name, please? <sighs> Mister. Give me a name and address now, or I'll arrest you. Name and address now, or I'll arrest you. Right, my name is. <laughs> You're under arrest. For what? For what? You swore at me, I warned you. Now you won't give me a name and address. Because you swore at me. Now you won't give me a name and address. That means I can arrest I'm you. Under arrest. Yep. You got me some camera, sir. Have you? What is this I'm car, man? What? In you go. This is what they have in England. These little weird box cars they put in the back. I'm under arrest because I didn't give him my It's a cage. Uh, partially. It's a whole ass cage. After making the arrest, the officers noticed something strange. Tim. <laughs> Luckily, so having a know. night out in the phone box isn't an arrestable okay. offence. Oh, okay. <laughs> in the van, the Joker still hasn't learned his lesson and continues to give the officers grief. Walk down, please. Walk down the you know, like, like a good citizen. Good chap. Right, then make your way towards the door, please. You know, I don't want to be on fucking telly. These police officers arrested me for nothing. Get down, please. Absolutely no reason for not giving my name. See what I mean? Please, brutality. Oh, oh no! Please, don't do it! See what I'm saying, mate? <laughs> Makes good TV, doesn't it? <laughs> After a night at the cells, the Joker refused a fine for being drunk and disorderly. The matter will now have to go to court. Uh, the fucking legend, this guy, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? What man, stop getting mad at me! Welcome back to another weekly dose of aviation. This plane I landed at an air show, but while slowing Excuse down, the plane now. tipped over. Jesus! Luckily, no one was injured. This jet turned into a flamethrower while starting up. This plane landing really hard at Bristol Airport. Oh shit! Fuck this! Hell no! Nah. Jesus, dude! Five month In landing really hard at Bristol Airport. Absolutely no shot. Ah! That's crazy. This is how flying above fireworks looks. Why do I keep subbing? Go on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Why, guys, I was wondering in the chat, why does anybody at all ever films in this orientation? I was wondering, because most things, like 99% of things are filmed this way. Why don't, why don't people just turn their phones sideways? It, it's better in every way, shape or form. This eagle trying to land on the wing of a glider. Is it a hold? Oh, that's a cool ass bird then. This plane flying just a few feet above the ground. You make me smile, smile. 
piece, okay? The helicopter landing That's on the cool, trailer. And that is crazy precise. Damn! These jets flying in formation. Cool. Damn, dude. Why does it look so cool? That's a nice skin. This plane passing by low. This helicopter lifting another helicopter. That's pretty crazy. And that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Other sources will be linked in the description cool, as usual. No, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a cardo box. So so please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Shut up. Links down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I really one. want to tell you that you saved my life. XQCLI oh, has some problems with my mental health. Your streams helped me oh. so much. Well, I'm glad the stream did something for you, man. Thanks for watching and chat out with us, man. What's up, dude? One month street cricket. Oh, no shot. Can I, what's going on? 13 months double. Can I help you with something? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, ah, I did that. It's so scary. Fuck this. Jesus, man. Absolutely no shot. Months of great content. XQCL. Okay. No, no, yeah. Fuck all this. Literal five head. This is the US military's Yo. most powerful cannon, the electromagnetic railgun, which can shoot up to 100 nautical miles at Mach 7.5 and impacting the target at Mach 5 using only energy as its um, Mach 5. The high velocity this looks kind of interesting. Let me just eat this real fast. Okay, and air targets purely from its kinetic energy Curse. rather than with conventional explosive warheads. So what is a railgun? Well, the EM Railgun Launcher is a long-range weapon that fires projectiles using electricity instead of chemical propellants like gunpowder. Magnetic fields created by high electrical currents accelerate a sliding metal conductor or armature between two rails to launch projectiles at 4500 miles per hour. Basically, it shoots a big solid metal projectile at very high speeds at vast distances and does damage using kinetic energy, only using electricity to shoot. The railgun works by storing power for several seconds, generated from an external source, like a ship. Jesus. After the weapon is charged with some 32 megajoules of energy, its capacitor send an electrical pulse down two long rails one negatively charged and one positively charged, generating Boom. an electromagnetic field that fires the projectile along the two rails at up to Mach 7. Using extreme speed, the warhead impacts with high kinetic energy, ripping a hole through whatever it was aimed at. The 25 pound projectile is Wait. a non-explosive bullet, like a big dart inside an aluminium alloy casing what? or sabot that's a that whole fucking falls away after the projectile leaves the that that was a whole still the greatest wall, man. advantage of an em railgun on a naval vessel over huh. traditional explosive round weapons is the safety aspect as no propellant is required to fire the projectile and no explosive rounds are stored in the ship's magazine Railguns have been around a long time in sci-fi TV shows and movies. The most recent I can think of is from the TV show The Expanse, 
where all the big military spaceships all use railguns, and in the 2009 movie Transformers 2, a naval vessel uses a railgun to shoot a transformer off the pyramid. But the EM railgun has two major complications. The weapon takes an enormous amount of power to fire, and it literally tears itself apart with use. The railgun has already been in development oh. and testing for over a decade with total cost exceeding $500 million. In its current form, the railgun simply requires too much power for widespread use. The problem is, the only ships that will be able to generate the gargantuan 25 megawatts of power required to fire the railgun are the Zumwalt class destroyers, which will use Rolls-Royce turbine generators to produce as much as 78 megawatts of power for the ship. But only three of these technologically advanced warships will be produced. A bigger problem is that the railgun will shred its internal right, to bits if it is fired enough. You can see parts of the rails themselves erupting from the weapon as plasma when it is fired. The projectile is leaving at incredibly high velocities and it accelerates down the barrel. The contact between the sabo and the rails simply erodes the gun itself. The other short-term solution Jesus. is to develop a railgun that uses less power. An EM railgun that could fire a projectile at 2,500 miles per cool, hour man. instead of 600 miles per hour and hit a target at 50 so nautical this? miles instead of 100 nautical miles would still be incredibly useful, especially if the Navy could mount the weapon on existing warships. A less power... Yo, Mr. Cow, look at this app. Arm wrestling. Why does this have so many viewers, man? It says schoolboy versus a whole gym in Dubai. Guys, 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 I will never arm wrestle with somebody that has a lot of power. I feel like. It's I always feel like your, my wrist is gonna crack. It, it, I don't know what it is. It, it just feels like it's going to snap. Does he have like a weird technique with his weight or some shit? <sighs> Get the fuck out of here, dude. What is this guy doing? What was that? I mean, what is this? Oh, damn! Ah! I think it's gonna snap, dude. Oh, Oh, damn! This is pretty, this is pretty strong. Get the fuck out of here. What is that? Shut up. What was that? Even if it's just for the day. Enjoy your stay outside the sun. It is shining.